Right now, we're going to check the mesh of this buggy to make sure that it's not too tight and not too loose. Theoretically, it should come from the factory preset at precisely the right mesh, but that doesn't always happen, so you want to check it. Let me explain a thing or two about the mesh. What do I mean when I say mesh? Well, there's a differential gear train here. Let's see if you can see that right there. That's your middle differential, and there's a big gear there, and it attaches to the clutch bell with a small gear. Okay, the engine turns the clutch bell, which turns that big differential gear, which in turn drives your buggy. Now, we want to make sure that these two gears fit together, but not too loosely and not too tight. If it's too tight, you will wear out one of these pieces and have to pay for it to buy a new one sooner than you would like. If it's too loose, that's just as bad. You will chew up the teeth. These buggies have a lot of power and a lot of torque and you can break teeth off real easy if it's not set just right. Having said that, I don't want you to worry about it too much. This is something you're going to learn. If this is your first buggy or your first nitro, uh, this is one of the hardest things to teach people because I can tell you about it all night, but until you do it a few times, you're just going to have to take my word for it and you will develop some sort of feel for it. Now this buggy came from the factory set very nicely. There's a little bit of play in there. When I put my finger on one gear and hold the other and wiggle it, there's just a little bit of what we're going to call wiggle. It doesn't bind anywhere. And it's pretty much uniform all the way around. That's a good thing. Himoto did a good job on this buggy. However, maybe your buggy is too loose or too tight. I'm going to show you a time-tested way that RC people have been checking their mesh since forever. What you need is a piece of printer paper, cut it in a strip like this, and what we're going to do with this printer paper is we're going to stick it right in here between the two gears and sort of move them and get that paper in there between those gears and roll the buggy just a little bit. Now we've got that piece of paper in between those gears. What I'm going to do is roll this buggy forward and it's going to suck that paper in. Hopefully Coopler's filming that. There it is. And it'll go all the way through and it'll probably roll up on the top like this or it might go down below. Either way is fine. So here's the unused end. Here's the end that's come through the buggy. So what I'm going to do is just keep rolling it until it all comes through and you get this nice accordion effect. Hopefully Coopler can zoom in on that and you can actually see it. Okay, now this is just about right. That's how it should look. Okay, if it were too tight, the paper might be torn in places. There'd be big black marks on it from the grease and it would be torn or there would be holes in it. That means that it's too tight and you're going to have to loosen it. I'll talk about adjusting it in a minute. If it was too loose, then there would be hardly any crinkle and this paper would be more flat something like that. A few marks, but not much accordion. Okay. Now, how do you adjust it? Let's say you decide that it's too loose or too tight. How do you adjust it? Okay, on this Emoto buggy, there are two adjustments. The most important one is on the bottom, right here. This is where the engine bolts to the chassis and as you can see these slots right here you can loosen these screws and move the whole engine up or move the whole engine down okay let's say here's your differential gear and in here where you can't quite see is the clutch gear let's say your buggy engine your mesh is too loose 
that means you want to loosen these and move the engine down closer to the gear and tighten it in an X pattern just like we've talked about before and then do the paper test again and you should get something like what our positive results were okay it's just the opposite if your engine was too tight if it's too tight you're going to move everything away so that there's more space between the gears so far so good there is another adjustment on this Himoto buggy hopefully Coopler can see these screws right here yep okay we can see those screws and they bolt into an engine mount and what these screws are is if you loosen four of them one two there's two on this side as well you can slide this engine forward or aft okay the purpose of that is so that you can mesh your pinion that's the clutch gear with the differential gear now I don't I don't know if Coopler can see that let me see if I can move yeah, this out of the way I can see it can you see that okay so if we move the engine forward or back obviously we're what we want to do is match those gears up fore and aft so that they're basically right in the middle of each other that way you'll get even wear and everything will last longer okay without actually demonstrating on film how to loosen and tighten and set your mesh which probably wouldn't do you any good because I've explained it and you really won't be able to see it it's more of a feel sort of thing go out and try it yourself um, just remember too tight and it will bind too loose and you'll get no accordion effect on your paper okay either one is not good I think that should do it for the mesh